Hey everyone, we're at day one of Computex for our trip and we're looking at some of the new MSI products including the new GTX 1080 with the Twin Frozer 6 cooler. So this is a bit different than the Founders Edition that we reviewed previously. And the main differences are going to be for power and thermals and that's relevant for all the overclocking. So we talked pretty heavily about overclocking when we did our GTX 1080 hybrid mod as you all saw. And this will resolve some of those thermal issues. So uh, the main thing to look at is the Twin Frozer 6 cooler. So it's got a double ball bearing fan design with a Torx 2.0 fan. And this is an updated version of the Torx fan that MSI has used on previous Twin Frozer models. The main update is there are two types of fan blades. One is a dispersion fan blade and one's a traditional fan blade. So the dispersion fan will help generate a turbulence that the traditional fan can force through the heat sink and cool down the the GPU itself. The GPU itself should run about 20% cooler. We haven't tested this ourselves, but we will soon. Should be about 20% cooler. That'll help with some of the thermal headroom issues where we were hitting 82 Celsius on our overclocks and causing really crazy spikes on the frequency. So in theory, that helps with that. Uh, with regard to overclocking specifically, the things that I'm most interested in are, of course, there's an extra power header you may have already seen. That is an extra six pin uh, so there's an 8-pin and a 6-pin. The total power allowance is now upwards of 300 watts. The extra 6-pin, about a 75-watt add there. But you start running into VBIOS and voltage limitations on your overclock, as we saw with the 1080 hybrid mod. Uh, so to get around that, there is a custom VBIOS on this. We don't know a whole lot about it yet. It should have some extra millivolt, milli volts for the uh, overvoltage when you're doing your profiles, but we don't know how much. So hopefully it'll push beyond the 1061 millivolt limit that we were running into on the Founders Edition. If it even pushes the 1080 or a little higher, 1100, that should be enough to get a good maybe 100 megahertz extra clock if uh, it is actually unlocked in that regard. So that's a big thing. Power phase is another big thing. The VRM is now a 10 plus 1 phase VRM, and that's against the 5 plus 1 phase on the Founders Edition card. Pretty massive difference there in terms of voltage cleanliness, so to speak. Outside of the power phasing, uh, the PCB itself is custom, so this is not a reference PCB or Founders Edition PCB. It's a custom PCB, and it's a 10 layer one, which uh, does give some extra stability and overclocking performance than the reference design. There's a backplate, of course, for your structural integrity. Uh, but that pretty much wraps up most of the new Twin Frozer models. You'll find additional information linked in our article in the description below. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for the Computex coverage. We'll have some X99 motherboard stuff coming up shortly, and then other AIB partner video cards as well for the 1080 and maybe the 1070. So as always, thank you for watching. Subscribe to watch more. Uh, or if you just want to see me sweat while we're here in Taipei because it's crazy hot. But I'll see you all next time.